Hi friends, good afternoon. As an IT business analyst, we need to understand the concept of business requirement document and a functional requirement document and a system specification requirement document. What is the difference between BRD, SRS and FRD? What are the content should be available for each of the document? How it should be formed? What way the information should be gathered? What are the details should be available for this document? These are all the information I will provide for this video. You can watch this video. You can able to understand the concept of each and every document, how it should be written, what are the content should be available in this document. You can able to understand. BRD means just think about high level business requirement document. In case you need to create the any login page, they given the requirement, please create the login page. That is called the BRD, simple requirement. Only they provide the high level business requirement. FRD means functional requirement document. Based on the BRD, the FRD should be derived. Take this example, already I said that BRD, please create the login page. That functional is how you create the login page. You need a user ID, password, as well as the submit button, cancel button. These are the buttons should be available. That details should be available in FRD, functional requirement document. System requirement document or system specification document. Just I said that what are the features should be available for the specific user ID and user ID and password. Take down this admin password, uh, reporting manager password and normal user password, super user pa password. This kind of the admin access we provide the system requirement document. It should come for functional and non-functional. Both requirement it should be come. Let's see. Go through the concept of business requirement document. Already, as I said, that business requirement document is a high level requirement document. Client provide the high level, client provide the high level details of this requirement. Okay. Based on this requirement, the document should be prepared. Just look on this. This document, the client provide the high level requirement. Simple line, high level requirement. After once they collect the document, how you collect the information? You interact with the client and you collect the information and prepare the document very high level manner okay after once you prepare the document you discuss with your supervisor and project manager and uh, interact with the client it should be covered for all the requirement or not everything you need to uh, return in this document okay the, re the document should be collected for verbal or written or both format okay only they provide the high level requirement for this document BRD document is a very fundamental for the business analyst document. Okay. Without BRD document, you cannot able to do anything because the functional business requirement, what is the client requirement that should be explained in this BRD document. The BRD document should format should be different from this company to company. The service based company should be followed different format and product based company should be followed the different format. Based on this condition, the BRD document should format should be different. Based on the stakeholder, okay, what stakeholder itself, what the clientele, based on the words you prepare the documents. The document need to fulfill for all the customer business needs, okay. What customer expert, okay. In this specific application, what customer expert that, that need, need to be filled for this document. The various kind of strategic approach they are following from this BRD document, the brainstorming section, many sections is there, okay. They interact with the client and prepare the document. Basically, the BRD document, it's come to the big or small based on the requirement, okay. Sometimes they provide the requirement in small manner. Next phase, they given this another requirement that should be differ, okay. Based on this format, that should be differ. BRD always have some format they should be followed, okay. Company, the format should be differ from this one company to company. Already said that product based company follow the different format and service based company follow the different format. The template should be differ from this various contents, okay. Uh, in this in this PPT, in this world document, I have this document revision, okay. Once you discuss with the client, okay, how many times you revise the document, okay. Just first, first you provide one requirement, okay. Again, client influence some requirement, okay. You added the requirement, okay. After you need to revise the document, okay. Once a document is approved from this client, after only it's go for the uh, either functional specification document or SRS document or development, further approval. So you need to get the approval, okay. Introduction section, you need to mention what is the project scope that you need to mention, okay. Business goals means what goal you achieved, okay. Suppose in case you develop the specific application, what goals you should be uh, uh, achieved. Business object means what is the scope of the specific requirement that you need to be mentioned. 
business rule means what are the rules you need to follow okay whether any narration or any any kind of banking product you need to follow some narration rules or derivation rules this kind of business rules you need to follow the background what is the background of this project okay already you split it some big application to small application on the day what is the background of the project you need to explain project object what is the project objects what is the scope of the project what is the current scope of the project you need to mention out out of scope means sometimes you know you know consider specific requirement in outer scope that also you need to mention mostly it's won't happen some of the company they followed assumption what is your assumption constraint and risk a uh, business process overview and a legacy system what are the legacy system should be re replaced okay you replace from one system to another system means just mention the name proposed commands and what are the proposed they providing and business requirement list of academy glossary of terms related documents what are the related document you, you have already you have these all the information you need to attach for this brd brd is a heart of project okay once the client or either stakeholder or service based company or product based company they understand the brd after only it's go to the development okay it's the heart of the project the requirement should be clear for in this brd next we come to the functional requirement document already is said that brd only for the high level requirement okay already said that please create the login page functional requirement requirement documents what are the functionality we need to achieve for this specific requirement take this example you need a username password submit button cancel button and the username should be how many character password should be how many character and the submit button what's the submit how it's go to the next page these are all the function related information you need to put for this functional requirement document this is for the it's depending of the product okay based on the product it should functional requirement document should be written okay the you, based on the functional requirement document you can able to understand the high level function and uh, entire functionality as well as the some point of technical functionality also you can able to understand okay mostly that fun functional requirement document should be created from the business analyst based on the help with the various technical expert for instance system architect and uh, some of the people okay inside the organization they get the help from these people and they analyzing for the existing system based on the existing system they prepare that functional requirement document it should be uh, the document should be prepared based on the small or medium sized organization sometimes the ba should be take care of functional requirement document some part they separate functional bas are available based on the organization structure and uh, uh what they are expecting in their end okay uh actually the frd given the detailed explanation of specific business requirement document always frd should be derived based on this brd okay brd is the parent frd is a child okay based on the brd only the frd should be derived uh you need to prepare the document after you need to get the sign up from this client okay once you get the sign up after it's go to the development phase okay each and sometimes business analyst they prepare the frd they already said that they help with the stakeholder project manager what is the internal team they have okay who are all aware of the existing system based on the based on the requirement they gathering after they prepare that fst fst should be always more clear because uh, we explain the functionality from each and every screen okay every proto and every screen so fst always look be clear be clear and it can be able to understand the external stakeholder internal people as well as the inside the organization people everybody we can able to understand okay what is the purpose of fst already said it how we develop the ex expected requirement how we how we proceed the development okay what are the tools you are used to what are the system should be different dependence on what are the system is there okay what are the future and functionalities what are the future available for the specific application okay once it solution they provide how customer should be react okay assumption constraint and everything it's come come to the frd okay what are the content mostly available for this frd document you need to understand uml diagram you this kind of diagram should be available okay because you need to mention the process flow for this F frd okay you can able to see that holistic view of entire requirement okay you can able to see that entire requirement very holistic view what are the risk should be available in this specific project that that also um that also uh, you can able to understand this frd and scope screening scope creep will be happen okay the scope scope should be screening from this fst okay already said that brd template already said that same like that frd also we used uh, some kind of format template that format should be different from this company to company service based company they follow some different format and product based company they follow from different format introduction it should be you everybody is never of it purpose scope background reference assumption and constraint document review okay what is the purpose of this project and scope of the project what is the background of the project okay why we implement for the specific feature okay 
why we replace from the existing system to new system okay what are the reference you should refer and assumption and consider what are the assumptions should be you think about in this specific requirement that you need to mention this assumption and consent function document overview what are, these should be available okay or what methodology you can able to follow the functional treatment and you can able to do that some illustration tool okay because why i say that the functional should be explained from this way of some diagrams uh user requirement diagram or data flow diagram or logical data model or data dictionary functional requirement document these are the diagram should be uh, uh, draw from this ms word or bc or uh, any of the plat illustration tools other requirement you can able to see that interface hardware and software these are the requirement you can able to see that already i said that brd the single line requirement the user need to create the login page fyd they tell that what is the username password how submit button should work how uh, back button should be work and once click the submit button what is the next thing should go these are all the functions should be explained in this F fsd document next we come to the system requirement specification document this document should be analyzed for functional non functional both the requirement okay once you need to once you need to meet the project criteria on the time you need to understand for the entire thing what is the functional requirement what is the um non functional requirement all those things you, you need to document it okay this document should be create based on this uh, development head as well as the testing team uh, testing team head and the project manager all people are involved for this specific project even the client also involved after all the system uh, software requirement specification document should be prepared okay because this document should be entirely for this inside the software okay what are the access you provide for the specific software and how it should be work okay what are the uh, interface should be connected these are all the information these are all these high level development information putting from this software requirement specification document so ba get the help ba or technical lead any one of the person prepare the document based on the help with this technical team ba team and uh, text, testing team head as well as the project manager who are all this enlightened people in this organization based on the discussion the document should be prepared same like that you create the law, uh, brd they said that create a login page and fst they said that username and password and uh, submit button or uh, uh, back buttons and uh, software requirement document specification tell that what are the login feature available for the facebook uh, user okay suppose the super admin user administrator user employee user report module user uh, the user wise the uh, the user wise the project of uh, user wise the project extension should be different because the law admin admin user can able to access all the entire entire application okay they can able to access the entire action reporting module user they can able to access only for the reporting part employee module what their day to day activity whether it's a operation activity or any kind of searching activity what kind of activity they can able to do day by day that activity model only they can able to access login module you can able to access for this simply any of the user is there okay any of the sales persons or outside the organization they provide the login access these are all the access provide information rework information and inside the software information how the data should be transferred whether xml or json and um, how how existing system should be look these are the technical decision should be specific in this um, software requirement specification document thanks for watching this video kindly provide your comments and uh, share it okay in this below the line i forget to inform that what is the difference between three documents uh, i should mention from here okay three document we can able to see that business requirement document software specific software requirement specification document and functional specification doc, specification document already i said that um, uh, software specification document you can able to interact with the product requirement and the system requirement both should become fun functional as well as a non, non functional requirement should become in a functional requirement document you can able to see that only for the functional related uh, requirements only okay business requirement document business analyst should be prefer software requirement document either business analyst or system analyst should be prefer and a functional specification document mostly business analyst system analyst or implement uh, analyst these are all the people prepared business level business requirement document is a high level business requirement document and a shareholder can able to provide the requirement uh, we wrote the requirement and again we get the sign up from the shareholder software requirement document is a inside the uh, software how it should be work what are the detail what are the feature we need to avail from the software which platform they, sh they should work and uh, what are the client tool they are used this kind of so inside the software related uh, details should be mentioned the software requirement specification document and a functional specification document already said that you can able to see that lot of uh, functional flow diagrams eml diagrams and uh, illustration diagrams based on this diagram you can able to understand the concept business requirement document should be prepared for this upper and middle management you can able to discuss with the upper and middle management and prepared 
software recruitment document you can able to involve for all the people project, project manager sme technical head implementation lead all should be involved after only you can able to prepare the software recruitment document into functional recruitment document you can able to prepare the technical lead laboratory lead and test team based on the people it should be prepared business recruitment document why we go to the specific features and uh, software recruitment document what criteria we need to meet the feature and a functional recruitment document how it should be executed these are the concepts should be available example already he said that a login page create the login page that is for the business recruitment document software recruitment document what are the access we need to provide for the user okay normal user login user admin user employee or reporter what are the access we need to provide and uh, revoke the access this kind of information should be available functional recruitment document already said that uh, user id password and uh, submit button back button these are the functional related information should be available Thanks for watching this video. Kindly share your comments. We will meet on next videos.